like now it's uh, it's all done. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is all done. It's just everything happened too fast. Um, you know, we practiced hard this week. You know, we, you know, we did everything the coaches tell us to do. We try to fit every scheme in. Um, it just happened. You know, like I said, everything just happened too fast. You put you had two sacks, I think, and ten tackles or so today. Obviously, senior days, some guys play not to get injured. You you obviously played your butt off. Do you think that showed something to scouts or anybody who was here today? Most definitely. It's not um, only to scouts, but it's just mainly I did it for my teammates and stuff like that, for the younger guys and try to send a message. Um, this isn't this not over yet. You know, in the off season they got a lot of work to do. So I'm just, you know, because next year they're going to be watching me and filming and stuff like that and see and the things that I did and the things that I should have done and stuff like that so, so, so they could learn from. So I'm just trying to set an example, and that's what I did. What uh, obviously the guy who takes your job is Alan. What did, what did you think? Of, what'd you think of him this year? And you know what, what can he do next year going forward? Throughout the season, I was just trying to you know coach him up and try to be the, um, his mentor. You know, for him to watch me. You know, tell him not you know to for him to do better than me and stuff like that. You know, um, to you know actually emphasize on pass rush. Um, he's pretty good at um, playing the run. Uh, pass rush, you know, he got to work on his hips a little bit, and I told him that he got to focus on that off season. He's gonna do a lot of uh, th uh, stretches and stuff like that, and uh, a lot of um, you know, like work on hip movement and stuff like that, so that way he could get better th throughout the season. So he, had, I told him he has potential, and also T1 Mason, so both of them combined could be a you know special person. You know, one of the goals you had heading in this year was to be an every down player. Do you feel like you accomplished that? Yes. Um, throughout the spring, you know, the coaches seen. Um, the changes and stuff like that. So uh, throughout spring, I knew I could have become the, um, one of the uh, first and second, one of you know, good impact on being a first and second down player. So Coach Ashley, you know, actually opened my eyes and awareness, you know, to actually you know, actually you know, execute it. So I should actually feel like I did I accomplish my goal. It's a little frustrating now though that you're healthier and the season's over. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> I feel throughout the whole season healthy. Yeah, thank God. Come on, come on. Looking back on your time here at Rutgers, what do you? How do you think about your legacy? What do you think you've left here in this program uh, through your time here? Uh, you know, Rutgers, you know, it's, no, it's not really known for like a defensive end. So, like, to be one of the uh, defensive ends to make an impact um, throughout my whole year here, that's one of the accomplishments to show that. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. So, to be one of the defensive ends to actually go out there, you know, do, giving everything it got, going through obstacles and stuff like that, and still fighting through. So that you know, that's one of the good, uh, one of my best moment um, to actually play first and second down, and also you know, the field goal block against Michigan, you know, Penn State, you know, just being an impact player my freshman year, and going through obstacles, you know, um, helped me grow to be a man and stuff like that. Helped me to this moment realize I could be, you know, not take life for granted. And today I'm playing first and second down because of that. What uh, 